Hey guys, the Wood Craftsman here. I got a real quick one for you. Um, this is a door that we had a match for uh, adding on a pantry cabinet to existing kitchen. And this is actually the door style and the stain color. They actually had supplied a quarter of the stain from the manufacturer that built the original kitchen, but we need to match this door style. So one of the problems I ran into with this is this uh, profile here, for the most part, works pretty well from what I can see from the back of the store. works well with a standard bloom hinge. But the problem I had was is the cutter I had that was the closest, which was almost, almost perfect, is that this radius here was just slightly bigger than this one. If this one was, say, 3 8 this one might only be 5 16 But from looking at it, you would never know it. Um, the problem I had was is I couldn't get this quite as deep as this. I mean, it's extremely close. But where I had the issue was in the back side of the hinge here. So I made a cutaway, and you can actually see where the uh, cup ends for the hinge. Now I'm probably not quite a 16th from coming through without the spur. With the spur, I'm probably about a 32nd or so. And I did actually have to adjust the cup depth. Now the problem with that is my hinge boring machine references from the face. So from the bottom, from the face, bottom of the face here to the bottom of the cup is always consistent. And if I have a thicker door, the depth will be thicker. Now this door profile, when these doors were built, I had them sanded down to 0.770. I thought 20 thousandths would be extra or would be good. In fact, actually it wasn't. I wish I would have kept another 15 to maybe 20 thousandths thicker. Um, like I said, the profile is really close. It's just a touch shallower, but not much. But the problem is, is that this cup depth is no longer 7 sixteenths. It's about 3 eighths of an inch. Now there's a solution for that, and those of you guys who are running this before, you've maybe come across it, maybe not. I'm just passing this along for those of you uh, guys who haven't come across this before. But you can actually get a shim that goes underneath the cup plate. Let me grab the other door and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is our door. It's uh, 22 inches wide, 28 inches long. It's got the same cathedral arch, uh, same raised panel profile, same inside edge. And as you can see, the outside edge is very identical as well. So it turned out well. But like I mentioned, the problem is in the back of the cup. I'm going to flip the door over here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. The problem I ran into, but the solution that they make to fix it. Okay, so I've already got one in place, but I'm going to show you before the fix. So here is the cup. And as you can see here, it stands up just a little bit. Now some people be okay just by screwing this down as far as the hinge function to work just fine. It's just that you'll bend these ears a little bit. But they do make another solution for that. Now this is a Bloom 38N that requires a minimum uh, bore depth of 7 16 So this is the fix. They actually make this shim that actually goes over that. And if you put it in correctly, there's two ways of doing it, and I'm doing it holding a camera, which isn't helping me. Okay, slips over the hinge, and just stick the hinge in place. Now you've pretty much taken care of that. Tuck it away so you don't see it. And this is what you have left. So, I've already done it to this one here. Can barely see it's there if you didn't know any better you see it's part of the hinge but that is the solution and all that is actually a bloom part number it's actually called um this is actually for the 38n series it's actually i think called the hinge bore shim i believe it's only a 16th of an inch which actually worked out really well um, but it's one of those things that I'm glad I remembered that it was something available. Otherwise, I'm not sure what I would have done because I really would not have been very comfortable with actually just sucking this down the way it is. Now, this is actually still bottomed out. There is a tiny gap here, but it's very reasonable compared to what it have been before. So, like I said, Bloom has come up with a lot of other accessories to help um, with some of these more complicated profiles. And like I said, had I had the exact cutter with these smaller radius here, this probably wouldn't have been an issue because I did check to make sure that my hinge bore is an eighth inch away like required. But like I said, because of the profile, I was afraid of coming through the front. And being that this is a arched door, 
um, I didn't want to set up for doing another arch after screwing it up in the profile. So I took precaution, checked it out with the scrap piece here, which is the exact same thickness as the door, and that's what I came up with. So yeah, you can actually use those shims. They actually make legitimate shims for that process. And that's it. That's pretty much all it is. So anyways, that's the fix. Just wanted to share it with you. Um, not everybody knows about that, so I just wanted to share it with you. If, if you're new into the industry, starting on your own, you may have never seen it before, especially if you work for somebody who never had an issue. But because I had matched existing cabinetry and didn't have the exact perfect cutter or the exact cutter, this was the alternative to fixing that. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short little shop tip. Questions and positive comments, welcome. All right, guys, thanks for watching.